30. And there's more drama now in the field of computers as Howell Bennett stars in part two of The Consultant. Why didn't anybody think of it before? Was well, stealing other people's crime? Needed our special skill, old buddy. It's all down to consultants. I'd like to crack a really big system. You know, the Klondike touch. I would like a systems audit done by a specialist consultant. I'm the country's leading authority on illegal procedures. We already have programming experts of our own, perhaps too many. Really? I suggest this is the one, too many. And who is that supposed to be? He works at your London data centre, tampering with your programmes, preparing to steal from you. He might well be doing it now. This would be at the London data centre? Yes. But I would be responsible direct to you? Yes. You're asking me to be a spy, Mr. Harrington. Yes. I think you'd enjoy that. I also think you'd be very good at it. How much are we paying you? 250 a day. It's 10 o'clock already. Call it 20 pounds so far, Mr. Harrington. But I have been thinking hard. Think about this. I've budgeted 10,000 for the exercise. That gives you about two months. It should be enough. Where are we going? The London Data Center, LDC for short. You won't see it. An unmarked building. It isn't something we wish to advertise. Sure. I pursue anonymity, Mr. Webb. driving here? If that's all right. I'll have a space allocated. Thanks. What do you drive, by the way? Ooh, nothing as big as a jag. Now, I have a ten-minute walk. Ten minutes? Isn't there a car park nearer? This is the nearest your car will ever be left to our building. You will also, like our staff, avoid all public houses and restaurants within a quarter-mile radius. There's a map in the centre. switchboard never identifies the center and we only connect callers to people on our authorized list. Will I be on that list? Since nine o'clock this morning. Self-locking, of course. Harrington and Webb. Mm -hmm. 
A prize every time. I like the patriotic colour scheme. Not patriotism, security. Yours is the blue one. And yours the red. Your case. Is everything searched? At entry and exit, every time. If I want to do homework. Do it here. We never close. When you're on your own, use your blue card to operate the lift. The card is red. Red cards take you anywhere in the building. Supposing I try to open a red door with my blue card? Bell rings very loudly. You said all printed data is in a red zone? Yes, level three. But your programmers are on level two. They don't see the data? Exactly. Even senior programmers are denied access to customer accounts. Security again. Do they mind? You may ask them if you like. Who's in charge of programming? My systems manager, Martin Alloway. He is not here today, so uh, his chief programmer will give me a conducted tour. Name? Owen. Christopher Webb. This is our chief programmer, Jennifer Owen. I cannot tell a lie. I expected a man. This is Mr. Webb's CV. I hope you're not disappointed. Not relevant. Read my track record. See if you're disappointed. Shall we sit down? What's your speciality? Checking systems worm and dry rot. Good. You haven't really told me why Mr. Webb is carrying out this exercise. Instructions from the board. I could have done it, or one of my analysts. We're all too busy. We followed an objective It's view. tough on anyone who doesn't understand our system. It's far bigger than anything in this track record. You mustn't prejudge. I'll give what help I can. Excellent. I'll leave you with Miss Owen. Miss? Sometimes Ms when I mean militant or patronized. What do I call you? Not Mr. Webb, I hope. Sounds like a channel swimmer. Christopher. My friends call me Chris. I'll settle for Christopher. How many people in your department? Thirty, plus me. Plus your chief, Mr. Alloway. Yes. You after his job? Why should I be? Well, you've got this far. It suggests a competitive instinct. I'd much rather have my job than Martin's. He decides what's to be done. I actually do it. Ready for the grand tour? Yes. Leave your things here. All the blue zones? Strictly the blue zones. Morning, Tricia. Good morning. Run control. When you're ready, your computer runs will be logged in here, if you're planning to make any. A few. See how the system responds. The output turns up here, too. be patronizing. Fascinate you. 
that we're looking at millions of pounds. It fascinates me, but it doesn't tempt me. Somebody doing a test run? I think it's me, but not with real money, Christopher. Will it offend you deeply if I say my desk at Newton Data is bigger? I don't offend easily. No locks? Alex Harrington's house rule. Security? Think of it. It's foolproof. Can't bring anything in, you can't take anything out, and you can't hide anything while you're here. I think I'll have the oranges in caramel. Your basic systems guide. You said it was a big system. That's the best introduction. The child's manual. When I've coloured it in, I'll start on the others. If you need any more, consult our librarian, Mr. Sondi. He loves paper and documents and files. Thank you. I think I might have enough for today. Well, if there's anything else... Yes, there is. Try me. Complete list of staff. Names and titles, job descriptions, and a seating plan of the office so I can put names to faces. May I ask why? Because I'm a highly professional gentleman and I hate wasting time. First thing in the morning. Thank you. Oh, letters for me. Sorry, only for other people. For you, the magazine. Oh, the children's guide to computing, complete with erotic illustrations. Really? No. Just a boring old trade paper. Mm, has jobs in it. Forgive me asking, but uh, you've got a job, haven't you? I spent half my time writing systems to do with plastic buckets and mail order head scatters. The other half making pictures of naked women. It's no sort of career for a bright young man with a double first and considerable personal charm. You're too good for Newton data. Well, my objective assessment is on the best one here. With a possible exception of Chris Webb. And in his case, I've not been close enough to check. Mike Harvey's moderately bright, don't you think? Oh, in a middle-aged sort of way. I hope the secretarial side of the organisation is up to your standard. Oh, you're terrific. Well, you bring me my magazines. Any time. Once a week's fine. Chris Webb reckons he's the champion, doesn't he? Yes. Good, I can't stand modesty. Hey, we could have naked women carrying plastic buckets and cutting hedges. <laughs> You're bananas. <laughs> Isn't everybody? Christopher Webb. Martin Alloway. I thought we should meet. Fine. Where do you suggest? If you look across the room, diagonally to your right, past the lamp, you'll find me. I'll hold up my arm. You should be able to see me. I see you loud and clear, Mr. Alloway. Shall I come now? I think so, yes. Martin Alloway. Christopher Webb. Do grab a pew. Alex Harrington says you're a good man. Twist my arm, I think I'd agree with him. Then how do you find it out there? A drift in our sea of desks. I'm getting used to it. But you don't like it? Not much. Open plan. All the rage. Top management recommend it. The directors approve it. But it doesn't apply to them. They still have an office each. Of course they do. Where they can think up yet more bright ideas. I see you worked for IBM. Some years ago. I was there too, in Hampshire. I was in London. I thought we'd never met. And you are here to look for bugs in my system. Inefficient programs, bottlenecks. That's my brief from Alex Harrington. And my brief from Alex Harrington is to give you every assistance. 
Well, I naturally appreciate any help. I'm bunkered if I will. Why should I help you to find flaws in my own system? No, I shall be here, and you will be over there at your desk. So let's keep it that way. Okay. I'll try not to get under your feet. On the other hand, if by some remote chance you do happen to come across something... You'll be the first to know. I do uh, carry the can around here, after all. How about lunch one day? I'd like to talk to you about your methods. I much admire what I've seen so far. Well, I usually have sandwiches. Newton data will pay. We can't eat close to the centre, you know that? I'll take you somewhere to make the journey worthwhile, Mr. Atherwood. I'll telephone you. Good. Try this. Is Martin Alloway robbing his own bank? like you've been up all night. Just a dedicated professional. There are dozens of messages. I don't want to know. You look terrible. Working with bankers. It addles the brain. I'm in a room with no windows, and she can start who hates my guts for being there. Shall I stroke your fevered brow? Please. It used to work. And will you telephone your bank manager? Will I, Al? Tell him to write to me. He has done. And there's a pile of stuff in your in-tray. Yeah, he can wait. Um, you got a number for Mike Harvey in Bristol? It's confidential. Just as long as it isn't secret. Thanks, and, uh, get me Alex Harrington at Waterman's. Good morning, Newton Data. Just one moment. It's for you. Good morning, Chris Webb. Oh, Mr. Reynolds. Yes, I got your letter. Well, I'm uh, going to be unavailable for about a week. Ten days. Difficult to be precise. Yes, we have confidentiality too. Fine. That's the date, Mr. Reynolds. Here I am, saving the entire financial structure of the City of London from total collapse and ruin. And my bank manager's going to demand us over a few quid. A few? I've got ten days to think of something. Saturday tomorrow. You can relax. No chance. I'm at work tomorrow. People don't work Saturdays. That's why I'm at work tomorrow. When the fat cats are away. Hello, Mr. Webb. Morning. Mr. Sunday, isn't it? Yes. You working overtime? Catching up, are you? Oh, it's a good time to catch up. The weekend, it's always quiet. Right.
Well, that's it. That's what? Another day gone. Oh, see, you've uh, finished catching up while it's quiet. Actually, I'd left something very important behind in my desk. I need it this afternoon. Up the Amherst! I hope they win. Oh, we'll stuff them. See you on Monday, Mr. Webb. See you, Mr. Sunday. So he's entitled to a few secrets. See you. I can give you five minutes. I have an appointment with the Almighty. I've been at the data centre for two weeks and I'm getting nowhere. It's the world's biggest haystack. Is there a needle? That's all we need to know. I know this. Reading through endless reams of program listing is a waste of time. Well, you're the expert. Progress to date, nil. So, what do you propose? I have an idea, but I need your approval. Why do you need my approval? Because it's a little irregular. I need to find out where your security is weak. I need to find out what your staff could get away with, theoretically. I'd like to test your precautions against interference with the system. How? By interfering with the system. I want to make an unauthorized program change to see if I can do it undetected. Also see who I flush out, who gets worried and why. No. I couldn't possibly authorise what you suggest. Have you any better ideas? We're paying you £250 a day to have better ideas. All we need to know is whether the system is clean. If not, what's been done to it? You've had your five minutes, Mr Webb. Thank you. <clears throat> and remember what I said. You play it strictly by the book. The only way I ever operate, Mr Harrington. Find out if Mr. Clement is in the building. I hope you fall off your overdraft. So it was Webb? Yes. I had a call from one of your people at the centre. Seems Mr. Webb has been making ripples. Perhaps even waves. Who called you? Ah. I promised confidentiality. I think the name should remain a secret to protect the innocent. Webb isn't my consultant, Dave. Nor mine. 
complaint should be addressed officially to the board. But life, I need hardly remind you, is not like that, Alex. Rein him in a little. Discreet touch on the foot brake. Happy ship, no waves. Sorry, I'm mixing my metaphors and you're in a hurry. Right, I'll um, pour oil, if that's the expression. Simple question, old friend. In your considered opinion, and bearing in mind all I've told you, is Mr. Alex Harrington capable of robbing his bank? Fair enough. I didn't give you a chance. You're late. I'm struggling and I need you. I'm sacrificing a weekend of unbridled passion in Bristol to help you out. Ah, come on, Mike. You know you prefer writing programmes to sex any day. What is it, Waterman's? Hmm. They have a system designed to prevent operators getting hold of confidential data. I want to see what happens if I ask for that confidential data. Oh, you're writing a programme? Hmm. A programme that says, break the rules and tell me some secrets. So I might quite enjoy that. Mm, told you it was better than sex. <laughs> this uh, job of yours in Bristol, time-consuming, is it? Very. Because I need you in a hell of a hurry. Impossible. Couldn't we meet halfway? That'd be a big incentive. My survival. Let's get some work done. Let us call it our Snoopy program. Dear Waterman's. Tell us your darkest and innermost secrets. Yours sincerely, Snoopy. And Co. And Co. You waiting for something? Just a test run. You wouldn't think the world's paper resources were running out, would you? Saving the world's paper resources. There's a bin over there for pop-ups. Thanks. to bother you again, but you've already been most helpful. Our best attention at all times, Mr. Webb. I uh, dumped some stuff in the bin last night. I really need to refer to it. Hard luck. Gone. Cleaners come in at one in the morning. Take it all the way to be shredded and incinerated. Sure. It's only been the daily procedure for the four years I've worked here. All up in smoke. We've got to make room for the new rubbish, haven't we? Understood. I'll be more careful next time. Must be something pretty important to bring you all the way down to Bristol. It is. I need a second opinion. I've been looking at stuff like this for years. I look at the date on the top. The 17th. Two days ago. But it came off the machine today. You sure? I saw it taken off the machine and dumped immediately before my program. A special test of some sort, maybe? No. So, somebody's screwing the system. Date cells changed automatically. Unless the computer goes down and gets out of sync with Greenwich. It wasn't. I checked. 
But it's all money transactions, and money transactions have dates. Somebody at Waterman's, therefore, is backdating something. But what? I can't tell from this, it's just a sheet of numbers. It's all sheets of numbers and code names. I looked at the output. All the customers are called Jones or Smith or Brown. Well, let's think it through. It's a banking system. And you want to make a backdated change? Check. What part of the system do you use to make that change? Well, obvious. The operating system. You put a patch in it. How big is the operating system? 88K. I checked that too. Have you got the complete listing? No, but I could get one. <laughs> so it's dead easy. You just search through 88,000 separate instructions looking for... But for what? Do you even know what you're looking for? No idea. So you're going to have fun? Not me, Mike. You. Oh, no. It's a money machine, Mike. It's the biggest thing either of us will ever see. It's a bloody bank. You're balmy. <laughs> We've done it before. Not to a bank. We took a few quid off Metro Central and a few quid off Rosper Records. And you had to cancel that one in a hurry. We're always a step ahead. We're the consultants. No, not a bank. You and me, Mike, we got something special going for us. It's unique. We steal other people's crime. Yes, and it was fun, screwing the little grey men, but I don't see it as a way of life. Somebody else does the planning and the hard work. They get away with it, undetected, except by us. Then we steal it from them. If we crack Waterman's, it's the jackpot. Well, it's yours. You're welcome to it. Mike, I need you to check that operating system. It's a young man's game. It needs your experience, your patience. Sorry. to revert to the previous arrangement whereby I leave money with them. So I put my head on the block because you've got money problems. Hell, if I had your salary. I've the expense of a wife without any of the benefits. You're not to mention a club you can't afford to belong to. And living with Newton's secretary for a while. And fast cars and backing the outside track when the going's heavy. And if I go to church, I tip the vicar too heavily. In your own words, Chris, it's your problem. I'm not going to bail you out. Why should I? Give me one good reason. I can't give you a good reason. I can only give you bent reasons. I'm sorry, old buddy. OK. Fully understood. I'll think of something. I dare say. I've thought of something. What? You're not the only person who'll check through 88,000 instructions. You're not going to involve young Kennedy. He's young and keen, and he's got a first-class honours degree. And his hands are clean. Blessed are the me. Look, leave him. He's only a kid. So was I. Once upon a time. I doubt it. I got a photograph taken at school. Yeah, full face and profile with a number underneath. No. Proper school photograph with a cap and a blazer. Past the scholarship and all that crap. Ambitious parents. My dad had a little shop. He wanted me to have a big shop. Stuff that. I want the lot. You're welcome to it. Thanks for the drink. Newton Data. No, I'm afraid Mr. Wedge isn't here today, Mr. Reynolds. He's on an assignment, but he'll be ringing in and I can give him a message. Perhaps you could write to him. You already have. Very well, Mr. Reynolds. I'll pass the message on. Thank you. Goodbye. I need a program listing. Well, grab a pew. Chuck it on the floor. I'll sort it out later. A 
I'm doing a special project for Mr. Harrington. Mm. Looking for bottlenecks. It means I have to look in detail at the relevant listings. Mr. Alloway says there are no bottlenecks. In my opinion, he is a genius. If that's the case, I just need to prove it. Well, whatever documentation you need, I am here to supply. My sole purpose in life, Mr. Webb. I need a copy of the operating system for a start. What, all, all of it? That's right. But it would take months to read all that. It's Alex Harrington's idea, not mine. May I uh, borrow this lot? You can borrow it if you want. But if anybody else comes along who needs to refer to it... No good. I need to have uninterrupted use. Well, Miss Owen has a complete set. Also Mr. Alloway. Sorry. You'd rather not. I did have a complete set of my own, but somebody's whipped it. Too much damn paper, that's the trouble. And always it walks away. Manchester. Come again. But they keep two sets of listings at the Manchester Data Centre. Different centre, different programme. No, 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 exactly the same. If everything breaks down here, Manchester can take over. Everything is duplicated. Of course, they have different branches, different customers up there, but the programmes are identical. Mind you, they are all dumb in Manchester. Really? Oh, yes. It's all routine. They don't need to understand a damn thing. And they don't. You, we even install the programs for them. Who does that? Uh, Paul Huxley, the smoking man with the beard. But any major changes, Mr. Alloway fixes. I'll tell you what, I could phone the manager at MDC right now. Get him to send a copy through our transit service. On your desk Monday, how's that? Excellent. May I borrow this lot till then? Oh, help yourself. I'd better give you a hand. Oh. Anything else? Yeah, four coffees and a new truss. Not a librarian's job, Mr. Webb. Not my purpose in life. Ah, Jake, got a job for you. Sorry, I'm going out. Another Newton assignment. I'm using the suit again, see? Yeah, this one is strictly spare time. Handsome bonus payments to be negotiated. I'm late. I shouldn't really be here at all. It's serious, Jake. So are these absurd clothes. Jake! I might be available for a brief consultation next week. If you can keep it short. Cheeky sot. Well, whatever it is, you'll just have to do it yourself. Sure. Chris. Sorry. If it's my body you desire, there just isn't time. Serious. What? Is it Waterman's you want Kennedy to work on? Yeah. I'm drowning. I need help. You won't do to Jake Kennedy what you did to Mike Harvey. I've no idea what you're talking about. And even if I did, I'd plead diminished responsibility. A little test program I'd like to run. On my seating plan, it says this desk belongs to Chris Webb. You are a chain drinker. Yes. I'm planning to stay all night. Unless somebody makes me a better offer. Lost something? A letter. That's not important. Just a friendly note from my bank manager. I have to go and see him tomorrow, collect the poisoned chocolates. You look like a man with an overdraft. Is that a compliment? I don't know yet. What a mess. It's a preserved building. Doesn't seem worth the trouble. Why should a building die because it's old and a bit tired? 
I'm old and a bit tired. Well, maybe not that tired. This is your club? Yes. Wish I could afford to drink here. I bet you say that to all the senior programmers. You're the first. Cheers. Cheers. I had a motive for suggesting this. That's what I was hoping. I want to know what you're playing at. Sorry, don't understand. You're trying to break the system. I want to ask you, please don't. I haven't heard the evidence yet. You tried to run a program today. I happened to see it. Pure accident. Saw what you were up to. So I cancelled the run. You did what? Apart from anything else, it was a very clumsy program. If you go on like that, the others are bound to find out. You told anyone? No. But if I have to, I will. Would you believe me if I was to say the sole aim was to test the effectiveness of your security? I'd like to. But no, I wouldn't. What occurs to all of us at first, fiddling point not not one percent of a single day's cash flow, it seems easy. And it isn't? It's just silly. Anyway, it was a bloody awful program. I won't do it again. Thank you. Supposing a friendly discussion over a drink. Supposing it had been a bloody marvellous program. Would I get away with it? No. Because I'm in charge of the team and I would spot it. But you were once tempted, you said. And a very smart man watches over all of us. Martin Alloway? Martin, yes. He's that smart? Oh, Mr. Sondy calls him a genius. But where computers are concerned, that's very nearly the truth. Here's to Martin Alloway. Who watches Martin Alloway? No one, as far as I know. That's what I thought. You can't think that of Martin. It doesn't make any sense. Woman's intuition? Aye, for detail. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me, you having a crack at the system. Expensive dresser, flashy foreign car, interviews with the bank manager. You'll always live beyond your means, come what may. I try my best. Not Martin. He's only got two suits, both exactly the same. I thought he only had one, but he came in one day with the other in a dry cleaner's wrap. Whereas I've never seen you wear the same thing twice. You've been looking? In a mood of scientific analysis. Oh, hum. Mother? You can't afford to drink here. So? I'll accept a lift home, if Putney's on your way. It isn't. But my flashy foreign car's never been to Putney. We seem to have strayed into the red zone. As long as you don't regard it as a conquest. I invited you, remember? Can't we call it 50-50? For the sake of my pride? If it avoids endless discussions, yes. You know, they build those places, those offices, all together in one big room and it's lonely as hell. I bet. Imagine what it's like working there year after year. No windows. Oh. Next in line to Martin Alloway. So I can't afford to get involved. And I don't count. Not really. And not after my job or Martin's. True. I knew you were competitive. Will you stay the night? I haven't got a wife to get back to, if that's what you mean. Get back to? Her name's Alison. I don't know where she is. Contact takes place via solicitors. Romantic. To the best of my knowledge, she's selling tasteful pottery and Russian dolls in the Cotswolds. Chipping somewhere. And is she a bitch? Sort of. They always are. So I've been told. Do you eat breakfast? Alternate days. Funny. I bought some bacon today. Hysterical. I don't eat bacon. You look awful. You've been working all night? Hardly stopped. It shows. 
Also due to see the bank manager today, and that doesn't help. But at least I ate a hearty breakfast. And I'll uh, solve his problem by not showing up. The car broke down. There's a long message for you from Mike Harvey. Just pull it back. I'll uh, listen to it while you bring me some coffee. You've only been here five minutes. It comes out of a vending machine at Waterman, sweetheart. My insides are silting up. Purely on health grounds. Twenty-five thousand. But it occurs to me you're wasting your time. Remember what we said at Metro Central. If you put a patch in a program, nobody sees it other than the person who puts it there. It conceals itself. Have you thought of looking at a memory dump instead? Look after the event instead of before the event. Action replay, edited highlights, all that. You should have thought of this too. And now, a message from our sponsor. <laughs> Call yourself a professional. My word, we are crossed this morning. I shall be under my stone if anybody needs me. All right, baby. Tell me who is robbing the bank. Let's have the starting prices. Alloway, Jennifer, Sondi. All of fours. Harrington. 25 to 1. 50 to 1 bar these. That's no help. Neither's that. Chris Webb. Oh, Mr. Reynolds, um, I was going to ring you. Yeah, my uh, car. It... I beg your pardon? I see. Uh, well, it's true, there are various sums owing to me, um, as I explained. How much did you say? Nine thousand pounds? Exactly. So that's about six thousand in credit. Fine. Many thanks. No, thank you for calling. Which one of you buggers has just paid me nine grand? of The Consultant can be seen next Saturday at the slightly later time of 10 o'clock. And Howell Bennett stars as a research scientist who tries out his theories of human behaviour in his newly born son in The Price of Fear at 10.30 on Tuesday night, and that's on Radio 4. <laughs>